These pages are from a diary of a Ukrainian eight-year-old boy who lives in a war-torn city of Mariupol with his mom and sister. For over 10 weeks now, under constant Russian army artillery shelling and air bombardment, without proper and sufficient food supplies, without medicines, without electricity, heating and running water. For reasons of security, we can't disclose the boy's name. His family is still under Russian occupation. He is from a Russian-speaking family, and he writes his diary in Russian. The War It is Sunday, April the 3rd. I had a good night's sleep. I woke up smiled, got up and read 25 pages. What else? My grandpa died on the 26th of March. I have a wound in the back, a piece of skin torn away from my flesh. My sister is injured in the head. My mom has a torn wound in the arm and a hole in the leg. A friend. I am eight years old. My sister is 15. My mom is 38. She needs her wounds dressed and bandaged. Then is my turn. Then is my sister's turn. By the way, I have a new friend now. Her name is Vika. She's full of fun. And she's our neighbor. Her parents are nice people. Monday, April the 4th. I woke up like yesterday and smiled and so on. My granny went to fetch water and she returned. By the way, my birthday is soon. Underneath, you can see a birthday party picture drawn by the boy. You can also see two dogs with wings and two people with wings too. They must be angels. Both my dogs died, and my granny Galia died, and my beloved city of Mariupol died too, in the time since February the 24th, Thursday. In the drawing, you can see destroyed and smoking houses and dead bodies in the streets. Next page, more destroyed and burning houses, Russian soldiers and tanks shooting, a helicopter shooting from the sky. My dear friend, Yevgeny Sosnovsky, a resident of Mariupol, also spent over two months in the city under Russian occupation. He photographed the pages of this diary and saved them during his miraculous escape from the hell of Russian-held Mariupol. Photography of ruins in this video is also his. The boy, his mother and sister are still staying in the basement of a ruined house in Mariupol under Russian occupation. They are all injured. They must be saved 
at all costs. Translated, narrated and edited by Sergei Loikov.